what other engagements as a part of three-day visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the US has actually happened. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also held a bilateral meeting with the Crown Prince Sheikh Sabha Khalid al Alhamad al Sabha al Sabha of Kuwait in the New York. Apart from meeting the President of Palestine, now the PM also met with the Crown Prince. Kuwait Crown Prince was exactly uh, also the person who met PM in the bilateral talks that happened with other world leaders in the US. So this in fact came after you know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has met a uh, Palestinian president and then uh, met with the high, uh, His Highness of Sheikh Shabazz Khalid al Muhammad al Ahmad al Mubarak al Sabha, who is the Crown Prince of the State of Kuwait. This is on the sidelines of the 79th sessions of the UNGA in New York today, and that was the first meeting between the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince of Kuwait. Prime Minister also conveyed that India attaches utmost importance to its bilateral relations with Kuwait and both the leaders recalled the strong historical ties that both the nations and people-to-people -people linkages that they have shared between the two countries. While we understand that the meeting between the two leaders of these two countries is expected to impart a fresh momentum to the bilateral ties between the India and Kuwait. All right, viewers, now also moving on to another important story that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held a bilateral meeting with Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli at Lotte New York Palace in New York. Now, apart from meeting the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Prime Minister Narendra Modi <coughs> has also held a meeting with Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli on the sidelines of the UNGA session and in fact the two leaders reviewed the unique and close bilateral relationship between India and the Nepal expressing satisfaction and the progress that has been made in diverse sectors including development partnership hydropower cooperation and people to people ties and enhancing the connectivity in fact between the two nations which includes the physical the digital and the domain of energies Prime Minister Narendra Modi also congratulated Nepal on becoming the 101st country to join the International Solar Alliance, the ISA, as a full member. All right, joining me right now to share more details is my colleague Brian. Brian, now in fact on the sidelines of the UNGA sessions, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has in fact made meet, uh, held meeting with a lot of world leaders, including the Prince of Kuwait and now uh, the President of. Uh, uh, Nepal, Prime Minister of Nepal, in fact, and also conveyed his uh, his uh, wishes, in fact, to these nations on deepening the str and strengthening the ties between the two nations and also boosting the connectivity. Well, definitely, Simran. You know, Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi met with Prime Minister uh, Nepal, and uh, you know, he met with KP Sharma Oli who is the Prime Minister of Nepal, also on the si sidelines of the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. Now, the two leaders also reviewed the unique and close bilateral relationship between India and Nepal and expressed satisfaction at the progress made in diverse sectors. You talk about uh, development partners, partnership, hydropower cooperation, people-to-people -people ties, and even enhancing connectivity, physical, digital, and in the domain of energy. The Prime Minister uh, also congratulated uh, uh, you know, Nepal also on becoming the 101st country to join the International Solar Alliance uh, as a full member and underlined the importance of a regional response to the challenges of climate change. And now even though uh, Nepal is a priority partner for India also under its neighborhood first policy, this meeting also similar, definitely continues the tradition of regular high-level exchanges between India and Nepal and the furtherance of uh, the, our neighborhood first policy. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.